Hello everyone, this video tutorial introduces the export functionality in the QSAR toolbox. The export functionality is part of the report section of QSAR toolbox and it allows various information to be exported from the system such as, chemical identification information, calculated or experimental data for physical chemical parameters and, eco, toxicological endpoints, profiling results, and predictions. Exports produce files where data is organized in tables ready for further computational processing, as opposed to reports that are formatted for human readers, with colors and pictures. There are also different layouts of the exported formats, such as, SMI file, exports chemical identification information, the unique identification number, name and smiles and tab delimited file. SDF file allows exporting identification information of the chemicals in a specific file format, a structure data type file. CAS list allows exporting only the unique identification numbers of chemicals from data matrix in a .txt file. Data matrix allows exporting the entire information of the chemicals in the data matrix directly in an Excel file. Important note before starting with the example, Collected data from ECHA Reach database can be exported only if the ECHA Reach unlocking plugin is already installed. Otherwise, a message will appear informing that some data will not be exported. Information on how to install the plugin you can find in the video related to QSAR Toolbox repository. The export will be demonstrated for how to export data matrix information only with the example chemical already shown in previous video tutorials. For this target chemical there is already prediction for skin sensitization. Information for the chemicals on the data matrix can be exported from any of the document tree levels. For example, let's export data for the primary group of analogs which are collected for the target chemical. Now click the data matrix button, a new dialog appears. Here, we see the same organization of the endpoint tree as in the data matrix with selected sections for export. Below we see additional check boxes whose meaning is the following, export detailed metadata, this option exports all details of the experimental data points, available in the respective database not only those visible on the endpoint tree such as reliability, purpose flag, endpoint value, test guideline etc. Remove empty column, selecting of this option will remove empty columns in the exported file if any. Do not multiply chemical ID. Selecting this option omit multiplication of the chemical identification information such as registry number, name and smiles for the individual data points which are exported in individual rows. Distribute profiling results, provides different layout of the profiling results filter points by metadata, allows filtering by specific criteria prior exporting, for example to export data associated with the specific test guideline like OECD 203. For the current example, we are going to export the data for skin sensitization of the target chemical and its analogs. In addition, let's use the filter and select data field test guideline. Here the list with test guidelines are listed, unselect all and select only test guidelines 406 and 429. Confirm by clicking the OK button. Now save the file with an appropriate name somewhere on your computer. If you have installed the unlocking plugin of ECHA Reach Data, you will see message for five restricted data points belonging to another database with restrictions, Reach Skin Sensitization Database, normalized. If the plugin is not installed, then the message will inform for a higher number of restricted data. Click the OK button of the message. Now you are able to open the exported file using Microsoft Excel program. The same export functionality can be found in the right-click menu, which can be accessed from any level of the endpoint structure. For example, if you request right-click export from the endpoint tree line corresponding to the target endpoint, that location is already selected in the export dialog. If you request the right-click menu from an upper endpoint tree level, such as human health hazards, then that item is already selected in the export dialog and all available data for all sublevels associated with that general level will be exported. Congratulations! Now you are familiar with the export functionalities of QSAR Toolbox. If you want to know more, watch the other video tutorials.